Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Muniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about a use of force incident that occurred in Topanga Division in the City of Los Angeles on May 21st, 2022 at around 7.45 a.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Topanga Division officers were in the area of Deering Avenue and Hart Street when they observed a named attempt murder suspect driving a stolen vehicle. The suspect attempted to flee and the officers initiated a vehicle pursuit. That suspect was identified as Felix Perez. During the short pursuit, Perez lost control of the stolen vehicle he was driving and collided with a residential block wall, nearly striking a pedestrian on the sidewalk. Perez emerged from the vehicle and attempted to run away from the pursuing officers. As the officers attempted to take Perez into custody, Perez resisted, resulting in a use of force. Perez was eventually taken into custody and was arrested for attempted murder. During the use of force and while being taken into custody, an officer contacted Perez's neck area. As a result, a categorical use of force investigation was initiated. Here is the corresponding radio broadcast. 21 out of 97 kills in pursuit of a murder suspect, license plate. We are gonna be on uh, passing independence on Gulf. Show us posted, uh, TC not involved. Portion of this incident was captured on the responding officer's digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside, which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. Ah! Let's go, my fucking head. 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 Ah! Let's go, my
A portion of this incident was also captured on the officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is the body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. Hey, stay in the car! Stay in the fucking car! Now! Hands! 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 Get in the car! Get in the car! Hey, what the fuck? Turn around, turn around. No, no, I have PTSD in me. Turn around, turn around. Put it out. Turn around. Stop the wish. Turn around! Now, grab his hand. 21 Adam 97, show us code four. All right. No code four! Get a All fucking right. back up! Ah! Let go of my fucking hand. Ah! I'm fucking here now! Okay, All right. 97, we're pressing the back now! Oh! Okay! Ah! 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 Okay. Now give me another hand. Oh. Put it on your fucking back. Okay. Independence. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Hey! Oh, come up. Ah! Come on. Hey! Ah! Ah! Oh. Stop! Oh. Now, okay. you're getting a fucking other one. I'm gonna knock your freaking teeth out. Okay, okay. Stop fucking moving. My eyes. Uh. Uh. <laughs> No, no, no. I have PTSD in me. Turn around. Turn around. Put it out. Turn around. Turn around! Now, grab his hand. 21 item 97. Show us code 4. Right. No code 4! Get a All fucking right. back up! Ah! Let go of my fucking hand. Ah! ah. My fucking hand now! 21 item right. 97 requesting a back up! Oh. Oh. Okay! <laughs> Ah! Ah! Stop! Okay! Now give me another hand. Alright. Turn right. on your fucking back. Independence! Ah! Ah! Hey! Look him up. Ah! Come on. Hey! Ah! Stop! Ah. Now! Okay! Yeah, now fuck another one. I'm gonna knock your freaking teeth out. Okay, okay. Stop fucking moving! My eyes. A portion of this incident was captured by surveillance video from a nearby residence. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics transported Perez to a local hospital where he was treated for minor injuries sustained during the traffic collision and medically cleared for booking into a LAPD jail facility. LAPD's Force Investigation Division assumed investigative responsibility for this incident. 
Perez had been involved in the following crimes prior to being contacted by Topanga officers on May 21, 2022. May 14, 2022, assault with a deadly weapon, which was a firearm. May 15, 2022, carjacking. May 18, 2022, criminal threats. May 19, 2022, robbery. May 19, 2022, attempted murder. On May 24, 2022, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Perez. Two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with a firearm, one count of felony carjacking, one count of robbery, one count of attempted murder, and one count of felony evading. Felix Perez is a 25-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.